Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, lately you've been asking me, Bobby, if the vegan diet doesn't work, and if you do not have to be 100% carnivore, what should I eat? More practical videos are requested. Guys, when we're talking about diet, one thing that somehow everybody excludes on the internet is your personal goals. You think about diet nowadays, everything has become ideological. Either you're a vegan for the ethics, right, for the animals, doesn't matter that it wrecks your gut, doesn't matter that it rots your teeth, nope, gonna stay vegan for the ideology, for the ethics, not because of my goals. I want to be a bodybuilder and Rich Roll is vegan. Hmm, I should be vegan too. The goals are the most important thing. Now you find out about the carnivore diet and you go zero carb and you start losing weight. I thought you need protein to build muscle. It depends on your goals. You find out about primal, paleo, raw, everything that is cooked is bad for you all of a sudden. Doesn't matter that millions of people do it successfully. Doesn't matter that evolutionary we've been using fire forever. Nope. I'm gonna exclude it all now, right? Because I'm gonna follow an ideology. Guys, when we're talking about eating right, it has to be right for your goals. So now, do you want to gain weight? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to maintain? Why do you want to change your diet? Do you change your diet because of ideology or because there is really a practicality to that change? Then, after that change, do you actually enjoy your food? It is very, very important. I can tell you about raw meats till the cows come home. If you do not enjoy raw meat, you won't be successful. You won't eat enough of it. For such cases, it is much better to have a beef stew than eating nothing. So, when you think about diet, you have to think about it simply. First, what can you do? Eradicate all the processed shit. All of it has to go. That is the first step. Then, you have to shift to true nutrition. So, what is real nutrition? It's pretty simple. That is the animal foods. That is the meats, that is the salmon roll, that is the dairy, that is the eggs. Go for that. Then you understand what truly satiates you and what truly nourishes you. Once you understood that, you don't have to overeat on carbohydrates. You don't have to overeat on processed crap. So, you ate a steak. I'm still hungry. Cool, eat another one. Right? Then, after you established and your body learned how to really deal with food and what food truly is, then you can adjust and adapt it to your needs. Guys, let me give you a practical example out of bodybuilding again. If you would go to the gym, it's your first day, and now you ask me, hmm, how do I work the inner head of the biceps? How do I work on the outer quad? That's bullshit, right? First, you have to pack on muscle. You have to start somewhere, right? The fine tuning, the micro calibrations, all of that comes later. And it's the same with food. Start simple, but start. Cut out the processed crap. That is the most important thing. Then put the emphasis onto animal foods. Once you have that, the rest becomes easy. Hey, you want to bulk up? Yeah, you're probably better off using some carbohydrates for that. I know, I know, the keto camp, the carnivore camp will tell me, no, all you have to do is overeat proteins. But guys, if I learned anything from veganism, it is that preformed nutrients matter. Maybe I should do a shirt on that. Preformed nutrients matter, because otherwise your body has to do it on its own. So yeah, sure, you could go through neoglucogenesis and your body could convert proteins into carbohydrates. Sure. You don't need creatine as a vegan, right? Your body can go through the process. You don't need all the essential amino acids either, 
right? Your body can go through the process. No worries. It is just more burden on your body and your body needs to put in the work that it otherwise wouldn't have to. So now I have to eat, let's say, 100 grams of extra protein to convert it into 30 grams of glucose. Cool. Or I could eat a banana. Simple as that. Guys, if you want to gain weight, use carbohydrates. So now, has that to be only fruits? Because again, raw is law. Everything else is bad. If you digest certain carbs, certain starches, certain grains even, then yes, you can eat those. As long as you digest them, they're fine for you to eat. That is one of the most important lessons. Especially if you're into bodybuilding, you will understand that you will have to eat six meals per day or even more. Once you've done that, you will understand that it all comes down to digestibility. Everything else becomes ideology again. If you need to get those carbohydrates into your system, all you need to do is find something that digests well. Because guess what? You just had breakfast and now, two hours later, you have to eat again. And then two hours later, you have to eat again. And then two hours later, you have to eat again. So therefore, you're better off to find something that digests well. If you want to bulk up to just eat a bunch of shit calories, wouldn't work. Because you would be stuffed. Right? You would be stuffed, your digestion would be taxed. You need to find something that digests quickly. White rice. In many cases, it digests the best. Again, if you have an autoimmune disorder, if you're truly sick, you have full-blown Petersons, yes, then you have to be carnivore. And hey, by any means, if you feel better on the carnivore diet, stay 100%. Why not? However, if you're looking for something that will aid your goals, you will have to adjust it to your personal goals. That's all there is to it. So, how do we do it? First, you will have to understand what your basal metabolic rate is. I will post something in the description box so you can check that out. And you can approximately say how much you need to maintain your weight. From there, you will decide if you want to lose weight, maintain weight or gain weight. If you want to lose weight, you will need minus 300 to 500 calories every single day. If you want to gain, it's the exact opposite. So you need 300 to 500 calories more to gain weight. And then you will adjust the macros. How do you do that? Per body weight kilogram, around about 2 grams of protein. So you weigh around about 100, 200 grams of protein. That is the protein that you will need to maintain your muscle. And then you will have to add some fats and carbohydrates as an energy source to gain weight. And then you can pick and choose what digests well. So guys, on that note, I just started my Subscribestar page. If it is not online yet, that is due to Subscribestar going through the process of checking everything, making sure that it is not a fake profile. Once that is set up, all the Subscribestar supporters get a free guide that explains everything in depth, how you have to adjust macros, micros to your liking and for your particular goals. So you will be able, after reading through that manual that is free for you, to adjust everything to your needs, right? So if this video is not explanatory enough, if you join Subscribestar, you get everything there. Enough advertisement. Back to the video. Once you establish that, you have your basal metabolic rate, you decide if you want to gain weight, if you want to lose weight, and you choose your foods that digest well, then you have it done. Now you will have to see how you progress and adapt and adjust from there. It is not practical to say just eat raw meat. We always give the vegans shit that 85% of vegans drop out in the first two years. But let's be honest here. Most people drop out of diets. That's just what it is. And the reason is that diet is not for you. Once you find foods that you love, once you find foods that digest well, once you find foods that aid your goals and you're actually progressing in life, then it will be not hard at all. It will be easy to follow that diet. Think about it. The only reason why you should change diet in the first place is if it does not work. Why else do you change your diet? Why else do you? If you would have sizzled six-pack abs, 
you're healthy, you feel great. Why would you change that diet? Never change a winning team, right? The reason why you change your diet has to come first. Establish your goal and adapt the diet afterwards. Stop following ideologies. Stop following dogmatic belief systems. Stop following other people's ethics. Follow what works for you. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. As I said, if you want to support the channel, the links are in the description box. Subscribe Star just opened up the platform right now. If you join in, you get the free guide, the free manual on how to fix your diet. On top of that, you get instant access to our private Discord channel where we can discuss everything you might need, any questions. 24 7 and on top of that only for my subscribe star supporters you get a weekly group skype session where we talk face to face so if that is something that you're interested in head over to subscribe star if it is not online yet that is due to subscribe star going through the process of screening that site however in a couple of days it should be on all right guys but this is it for today's video as always much love and peace